If I wasn't cooking, I'd probably be building motorcycles. My career over the years has started this movement of vibe dining, where nightlife meets restaurant, a place to immerse yourselves in the food. Fuhu embodies vibe dining, from the incredible space that we have, the different rooms, to the food you get at the table, to the DJs next door. You have an experience that is unlike any other place. Hi, my name is Joseph Elevato. I'm the executive chef for Fuhu at Resorts World Las Vegas. And this is Off the Menu with Hilton. For the king crab tempura batter, first I'm gonna add our bowl to the ice, keep our batter cold. We're gonna add our egg yolk. And we're gonna add our 50% water and sparkling water. Mix that up nicely. Then we're going to sift the flours together. A little starch, AP flour. We're gonna add it slowly till we get the correct consistency. It's okay to have lumps. It's about right, right there. So we're gonna save this for later. Next, I'm going to mix the ingredients for the ponzu, which is soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and lemon juice. It's a very simple sauce, just a little mix. Save that for later. Then we're gonna mix our amazu. So that is granulated sugar, kosher salt, and rice wine vinegar. Mix that until the sugar and the salt is completely melted and incorporated into the vinegar. Good. So here we just have simple mayonnaise. We're gonna take a little bit of the amazu that we just made. Some of the pondu we just made as well. And we're gonna mix that together until it's combined fully. All right, reserve this for later. Grab my flour, our king crab, and my tempura batter. So we're going to coat each piece of crab in flour lightly and then remove any excess flour. And just ensure that each piece is coated nicely. All right, now we're gonna take our king crab and we're gonna fry it in the 350 degree fryer. For me as a chef, it's all about finesse and technique. Modern techniques and modern ingredients. Perfect. Textures are super important. I think it really makes the dish immersive. And I try to make the food here a little bit interactive. It's like the perfect bite. I think, that's, I think that's how we should do it for the next menu. When you have that extra pop or that extra bit of uh, texture, it just really brings the dish to life. So a cool little trick to see if your oil is hot. Put a little batter in there, and if it comes right back up, then your oil is ready. So we're gonna take each piece and we're just gonna fry each one until it's just before golden brown. Once it hits golden brown, then it's gonna be a little bit overcooked. I'm just gonna transfer them to a tray to drain the oil. So we have our king crab. The batter should be thin, so it's nice and crispy. We're gonna take our bowl. We're gonna add a little bit of the amazu ponzu aioli we made earlier. It's a nice little puddle on the bottom. And then we're gonna take our king crab. We're gonna just do a nice little pile. And next we're gonna just take some shaved red onion. All right. And the key is to get nice thinly shaved red onion. If you find it easier to do, you can use a mandolin. So we're gonna take our red onion. We're gonna add some of the ponzu that we made earlier to dress our onions. We're just gonna take a little bit right on top there. Lastly, we're gonna garnish with micro cilantro, but if you can't get micro cilantro, you can use regular whole leaf cilantro as well. And this is our king crab tempura that we serve at the restaurant. I chose this dish because, first of all, it's super simple. But this dish kind of has a nostalgic feeling for me. I grew up in New York, um, in Staten Island, one of the five boroughs of New York City. Food to me is family. 
When I was watching my mother and my grandmother cook, a lot of times we'd be doing it still for parties. I moved to Las Vegas in 1999. I've been able to experience and be a part of many different restaurants in the city. And you know what? It all culminates now at FUHU.